The idea of taking to the skies without spending hours and thousands to acquire a private pilot license sounds fascinating. But to me, the whole idea of flying so-called ultralights often goes around the aircrafts that offer nor performance, nor speed. But there is a whole industry often overlooked when talking about ultralight airplanes. First of all, let's get few things clear. This is a powered parachute. Right here, we have a paraglider. Now, we have a powered hang glider. And surprisingly, here is a hot air balloon. All of these are ultralight aircraft, but their speed, comfort, and handling will vary significantly. And even more, they will differ from this, a TL Sirius, also considered an ultralight. But it is important to note that the term ultralight has different weight, speed, and seat limits in the US and Europe. For instance, in the US, an ultralight aircraft must have an empty mass of no more than 254 pounds or 115 kilograms, whereas in Europe, this limit is set at 1,042 pounds or 472 kilograms. When considering the purchase of an airplane, the first question to ask yourself is, why do you need it? The answer will dictate various factors, such as range, speed, comfort, handling, fuel consumption, avionics, and more. In the case of ultralight pilots, the answer is often simply just for fun. It is not typically for long distance trips with family or small cargo deliveries. Instead, it is all about the pure flying experience without any specific purpose. Despite the weight and maximum speed limitations, the community of ultralight pilots is huge. And with the eager willingness to fly, there are tons of small manufacturers that can offer ultralights for around $10,000 or less, which might sound great, but there might be a very significant drawback for these planes. Safety. Since there is no need for ultralight certification and registration in the US, the main issue is that this and this can be flown without a license, and these things can actually take to the skies. In terms of safety, Europe is a step ahead, with an obligatory total recovery parachute system mounted on every ultralight. But not all ultralights are just a mess of poorly welded pipes. In the current day and age, ultralight manufacturers can often offer the same quality and comfort you can get when purchasing a Cessna 150, Small Piper, or Beechcraft. But then, there is a question. Why buy an ultralight if you can afford a 150? First, let's discuss costs, as they can potentially be the deciding factor. A great example is the ATEC Aircraft's 321 Feta NG, a Czech-made ultralight with a brand new aircraft price of around $80,000, which is surprisingly low. Also, it's important to consider the lower operating and insurance costs, which can result in up to 30% savings per year, depending on the number of flying hours. Secondly, personal preference plays a role. Many people who buy a new or two to four year old ultralights are interested in having the latest technological advancements in the aviation industry. Unlike with large jets, where the industry moves slowly and conservatively, light aviation consistently advances and offers new solutions in terms of both performance and experience. In this video, I would like to share my personal top picks for aircraft that are classified as ultralight in Europe or light sport aircraft in the US. These aircraft are typically one or two seaters with a mass of around a thousand pounds and have some regulatory limitations, but they are still a lot of fun to fly. During the research, I've noticed that the secondhand ultralight market in the US is not very diverse. If you are from America, let me know your thoughts on ultralight planes in the comments below. Originating from the Czech Republic, the 321 Fita NG is manufactured by ATEC, a company with a long history in the aviation industry. The fuselage is primarily made from aviation certified carbon, offering a strong lightweight structure. The aircraft features a swept wing design, which enhances its aerodynamic efficiency. The Fita NG can be powered by a Rotax 912 or 912 IS engines and can reach a top speed of 180 miles per hour. Fuel consumption rate is approximately 4.5 gallons per hour at cruising speed. The cargo compartment can accommodate up to 44 pounds of luggage. Plane comes equipped with a Fiti propeller, which has been the subject of a specific development between the two manufacturers, ATEC and Fiti, and showed great results in testing. Price for this plane in Europe is around $80,000. The Ecolot KRO-30 Topaz is a Polish creation, 
manufactured by Ecolot. The company has been producing ultralight and light sport aircraft since the 1990s. Much like Feta, Topaz's fuselage is primarily constructed from carbon fiber. With a Rotax 912UL, ULS or 912IS engine, the Topaz can reach a top speed of around 167 miles per hour and has around the same 4.5 gallon per hour fuel consumption. While fuselage might not look like sporty, the cabin surely is, but there is enough space for a comfortable cruise. The price in Europe is estimated at $90,000. The P92UL is manufactured by Famous Technam, a company with a rich history dating back to 50s. By the way, we have a video about their legendary twin-engine P2006T. Be sure to watch it if you are into multi-engine planes. Also, P92 is a great example. How Plane, which had its maiden flight in 1993, saw multiple upgrades and is one of the best ultralights now. In terms of specs, it's pretty similar to previous planes, same Rotax 912, ULS or IS config, and composite fuselage. The price in Europe climbs up to $120,000. Worth mentioning that the cabin might be a bit cramped for taller pilots, or those planning longer flights. The FK-14 Polaris is a German aircraft by FK Light Planes. The fuselage is mainly constructed from carbon fiber, contributing to the aircraft's lightweight and robustness. Well, as you already might guess, same engine as others, but look how sleek the fuselage is. Also, this plane was built with stall in mind and requires exceptionally short runway length. Price-wise, it's around $120,000. The TL Sirius originates from the Czech Republic and is manufactured by TL Ultralight. The all-carbon fuselage, in combination with the trusty 912 engine, gives this plane amazing performance, with a total range of 970 miles. Flying Sirius is a laid-back experience. This plane tends to be slower in maneuvers and is very easy to land. Additionally, this plane has the most spacious and luxurious cabin out of all of them. But so does the price, at least $140,000 for a new one. It's worth mentioning that prices are approximate and include the full recovery parachute system and digital avionics by Garmin. Of course, there are lots of ultralights I haven't covered, but almost all of them share similar power plants and more or less hit the ceiling of the ultralight class restrictions. That being said, I hope you enjoyed this video and please do share your thought in the comments below. Fly safe and until next one.